Welcome to the land of unpopular opinions. Today I will be going through a book haul after I haven't filmed or posted anything in over a month. <laughs> I'm a very good beginner YouTuber, yeah, we can see that. But I have accumulated some books over the last two months of quarantine. <laughs> Because I got my birthday money, the bookstore is reopened, I splurged a little because I passed this final year of high school very well. So I splurged today actually, this is why I decided to do the book haul. A little pile has finally arrived, enough so that I can make a video. And hopefully this will be sort of enjoyable. Many of these are bind-ups or compendiums or the cheap ass version of me supporting the book industry because books are expensive but yes let's get into it and i hope you enjoy by the way this this here is not a pillow this is my cat's bed so we're not gonna disturb that right now she only just left the bed and who knows if she will come back but that's irrelevant anywho yeah the first book that i want to mention i got a month ago but I'm not sure if I'm going to post that vlog because it's old. It's a good vlog. I mean, fun in my opinion, but I'm not sure if I'm going to post it. So I thought I'd just mention this anyway. This is the beginning of my birthday money spending. I got Saga Compendium 1. That's what it looks like. It is obviously paperback because what sadist would do this in hardcover? This is all nine volumes. It is... <laughs> very thick very floppy and I read that like two days after I got it all of it I think everyone knows what saga is at this point I don't think I need to explain it's about a family it's sort of sci-fi and they have a child together even though they're not supposed to they travel about they meet people there's a lot of graphic sexual content gross content <laughs> But still, it's kind of fun to read. I don't know, I really enjoyed it the first time. I wanted to read it in English, and this was the perfect way for me to own it. So if Compendium 2 ever comes out in 150 years, my ghost will make sure to buy it. <laughs> yeah, the next one I also already read. I mean, I bought it with a couple of the other books. A friend of mine gave me the money for my birthday, and we went and I bought a lot of books because there was a big discount for reopening of the bookstore. This one I already read, so I can tell you my thoughts immediately. <laughs> that was Ahsoka by E.K. Johnston. I don't like Disney Star Wars, like at all. 90% of it, maybe even more. I dislike. This book was the first Star Wars book that was like three stars, I think, maybe a little bit more, but very low and not a five star because I don't appreciate Disney Star Wars. <laughs> I was interested in this, obviously, because Ahsoka, I love her. Clone Wars is one of my favorite shows ever, so she is one of my favorite characters ever, in Star Wars especially. I love her a lot, but this book was just not it. I don't regret buying it. It was a quick read, but not a very enjoyable one. I might discuss it one day again, but I read it in, like, I think a day. It's not very long, it's, like... 330, 40 ish pages, but yeah, you can see that. I was happy when I picked it up, not as happy when I read it. The next two are sort of related. <laughs> They're Uprooted and Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik, and Catherine Arden is my favorite author, obviously, and Naomi Novik is her her sort of bookish best friend or whatever they do live shows all the time so and their books are often compared for their vibe and atmosphere and characters and the Russian Polish Slavic culture inspired books so I hope to read them one of my dad's friends translated this into my language and it it was not good <laughs> it was really not good so I hope to actually read this one I didn't read the translated one. We, we made fun of the translation. I hope to read this. This one I'm way more interested in though because I like Rumpelstiltskin and this is apparently the retelling and it's also Slavic inspired so winter that's my thing apparently but I'm not really a fan of standalones when it's fantasies. I like I don't like standalones. 
Especially not when they're this short. It can be good, of course. Of course it can, but I don't like standalones. Because, like, if I get invested, this is it. This is all I get. So, <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to read these very soon. I think this one first, because I'm a lot more interested in it. But, expect this very soon in a reading log. Now, the next one, I've read, like, the first chapter of. Because... I've read like the first chapter of, but I bought this because of a specific recommendation on the back. So it's Soul of the World by David Meeling, which is a high fantasy and it says perfect for fans of Robert Jordan, Sanderson, and Weeks. I dislike Sanderson, haven't read Weeks, but I love Robert Jordan. And it says somewhere that he read Robert Jordan in middle school. So me and my dad have been eyeing this for a while now. Read the first chapter. Not a fan. Not a fan. But I'm going to actually get into it. Give it a chance. Read it. Finally, it's not, not really short. It's actually very thick. The font is small. But the books are gorgeous. Like, look at it. And it goes all the way around. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's a very pretty book, but one of the newer fantasy series, I think. There's only two parts out so far. So, I hope to God that it's better later, because the first chapter was not it. it reminded me too much of Sanderson and not enough of Jordan, so... Yeah, that is not good. That is definitely not good in my book, but I will read it. I finally want to satiate my curiosity regarding this, so, because we've been just staring at those two books in the bookstore for like a year and now we can finally actually see what it's about so please do let me know if you've read it and what you think of it because you could make me read it faster maybe potentially but don't tell me that it's terrible because I already bought it I'm gonna read it the next three are going to be yeah you can see them here right <laughs> the next three are going to be Fancy books, or bind-ups, yeah, bind-ups, but fancy books that are, like, pretty or illustrated or really pretty. I splurged on all three of them. One was surprisingly cheap, but still it wasn't as cheap as I would like, but the first one is, oh, these are heavy. The first one is Wizard of Earthsea, or... The books of Earthsea, because this is a bind up of all the books. It's the beautiful illustrated edition. It's very thick, but let me see if I can find it. It has a golden bookmark. I love bind ups with bookmarks. It's like illustrated throughout, but it has beautiful illustration. See, on the end pages, it's gorgeous. It has. <laughs> colored illustrations at the beginning of it each book let me see if i can yeah see and like on the beginning of each book you get one of those illustrations and there's black and white drawings throughout i'm really interested in ursula Le Guin and i watched the studio ghibli version of earthsea not a fan <laughs> not a fan but the world was really interesting and I saw that the movie wasn't really faithful to, to the book, so that gave me hope. And I started reading this on ebook, and I really liked the tone, but I can't, I can't read on ebook. So I'm finally happy that I got this gorgeous edition, and I can dive into more classic fantasy. And hopefully it's good. I know it's supposed to be for children, but that doesn't mean that it's not good. Honestly, children's books are very often just better than other books, because they don't have bullshit quota to meet so I can't wait to read this oh that was heavy <laughs> I almost knocked down the pile so that was very fancy the next one next one is extra heavy I think it's like over a thousand pages but it's the collected works of Jane Austen here we have all of her all of her books even the ones that were published posthumously so ooh. Yeah, the dust jacket was creasing. We can't have that. I think this is a very pretty edition. It's one of the cheap, cheapest ones that were a bind-up. But, yeah, I have Print Prejudice, 
like like an actual book. This is something that I've wanted for a while because I'm interested in Jane Austen. Her writing is a little tiring, like I can't get through it easily, but I want to read it because apparently her romances are excellent, which I know from the movies, and her humor is also sometimes very good. So I will actually make my through this, my way through this over some time, I don't know. The only problem is that the font is like extremely tiny, which is not great. Oh yeah, I can't hold this one one hand, no. But I'm very happy I have this. I have all her books now. I hope to actually succeed in reading some, if not all of them, at some point during my life. So now I have them, I have no excuse. I will probably read Pride and Prejudice from the small book though, because this is, this is heavy. But yeah, this was just, again, my cheap way of getting all of Austin's books because I couldn't be bothered to buy each of them individually. So I also do think this is very pretty. So it's pink and black under the dust jacket, but I'm not, I'm not taking it off right now. <laughs> is there anything special in the end pages? No, it's just black. I, I can hold this with one hand. <laughs> right. <laughs> The final book I bought today, so I was very inspired to make this video. By the way, this is just me rambling again, but my school, I was, I'm done with school. It ended yesterday, so this is why I'm recording again. But I still have my final exams coming up, so I won't be as consistent as I would hope so. But this is the book that I bought today, and I wanted to show it off. It's <laughs> this gorgeous Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. I think this is an edition that's actually made in like New York. I think it's Barnes and Noble. Yeah, Barnes and Noble. It's just gorgeous. All it's very expensive, but today was the last day of the discounts. I got some more birthday money. I couldn't. I couldn't resist. I've been eyeing this for like a year and a half, and it's mine now. So let me just. You need to get all of the glory of this book. It is, and of course, silver. <laughs> you need to see the end pages because they're, yeah, look, look at that. And we have, obviously, it is freaking beautiful. The font is also tiny, but. Red bookmark. This is just beautiful. I love this object with all my heart. It is gorgeous. I love Edgar Allan Poe. I don't think I've read any books aside from Black Cat, but I love his poetry, which this has all of the poetry. I hope to read more of his short, short stories and novels, novel, eventually, and I will, but this is just beautiful as an object and I have no regrets that I purchased it, none whatsoever, so no regrets. That concludes this birthday-ish book haul, even though my birthday was two months ago, but that's besides the point. This is the end of the video, and I hope you sort of enjoyed it. Let me know if you read any of these books. Give me your glowing recommendations or your warnings against some of these books, and I will see you in my next video. I think it'll be the Memory of Light reading vlog, I think, but... Anyway, stay safe, and I hope you're reading a lot, or if you're not reading a lot, at least having fun. So, I will see you next time.